Hello, and welcome back to Prompt Circle, where we discuss everything AI, use cases, tutorials on how you can build the next truly great AI application using large language models. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I've been working on that I think is truly special. We're going to be looking at the second version of Prompt Circle AI, which is a Slack application. It's a project I've been working on for the past few weeks, and I'm truly excited to showcase this. Um, one thing we know that um, most organizations face on a day to day at work is really around quick access to knowledge to solve everyday tasks. And this can be, you know, from mastering that policy guideline about something random uh, or, you know, information that could be living in some really, really large document that you need to flip through or scroll through to get access to. For small organizations, this can be really, really tedious and difficult because it can halt the work that you're doing because you might need to ask someone or start flipping through or scrolling through all these dozens of pages just to find you know, the right answer. And it does have an impact. Productivity is lower when you cannot find the right information to solve your problems. So with Prompt Circle AI, what I have built here is the ability for you to quickly create intelligent chatbots, which can be added to your Slack channels. Essentially, you can quickly upload a document right inside Slack, uh, very, very quickly create documents that can serve as your internal help desks to support your users. Now, someone reached out to me a few months ago and asked me this about their mortgage firm. They were looking for a way to kind of help their mortgage sellers uh, with understanding um, the different guides and the guidelines and policies that they needed to kind of have an understanding about. So I decided, okay, let's build it out and see exactly how this can support folks. So you're looking at the dev instance here, and, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it quickly works because it works very, very uh, easily in a very few steps. You can have your own chatbot created in Prompt Circle. So the first thing you want to do here is, as like you can see, we see the home page in your Slack application, and you go into messages, and here is where the magic is. Um, all you really need to do is simply share the document that you're trying to uh, work with. So in my case, for instance, I can share um, a document um, that I just recently downloaded, which has to do um, with um, you know, the residential mortgage um, data uh, in Canada. So this is sort of housing research data in Canada, and I'm going to just download this report and we'll be able to query it very quickly. So that's residential mortgage industry. So let's find it and uh, get that document right here. All right. And all I need to do simply is to share this document with my Slack channel. Now my Slack channel is going to communicate with Prompt Circle. And as you can see here, uh, it has actually uploaded uh, the document successfully. And then it's going to go ahead and do some processing behind the scenes uh, before it actually becomes ready to use. Once it's ready to use, we're going to receive a message immediately indicating that this particular file has now been processed and can be used to solve uh, the problem uh, that you want to solve or create a channel. So as you can see right here, document is ready to be used. Um, so this has been uploaded and now we can use it uh, to add it to a channel or access it directly uh, by messaging with the bot. So you can either really instantly begin to kind of ask questions of this. So let's look at the documents and see if we can pull up some questions that might be interesting here. So let's see some questions here. Um, so recent mortgage market, uh, recent mortgage market trends. So let's just say, um, give me a summary of recent Canadian mortgage market trends. Okay, so now essentially the, the bot is just going to, going to go ahead and search through the document that I just provided and it's going to be able to provide a response. So you can see it's threaded that response right here. 
it's going through and once it captures that information it's going to pull back a response directly into the stretch so you can see it right here so according to the spring 23 edition of the residential mortgage industry report here are recent trends in the canadian mortgage market and it also provides us uh, with all of that information high inflation rapidly increasing interest rates i think that's basically what uh, the document is saying so in very very simple quick steps we're able to share the document directly with Slack. Slack is able to process that behind the scenes with Prompt Circle and make it available for instant querying. But we don't stop there. What if I want to create an entire help desk channel that is specific to answering questions on that particular document? So how do we go about that? So first and foremost, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new channel here. So let's say create a new channel and I'm gonna call this channel uh, CMHC mortgage report desk, right? So there's going to be a channel where maybe your users can come in and ask questions about this specific topic. So we're going to go ahead and just create this channel, right? So the first thing I need to do is just basically make sure that I'm bringing prompt circle into the channel. So all I need to do is just basically um, you know, at mention prompt circle and that will give me this prompt to add prompt circle into the channel. And now that we have prompt circle into the channel, we can then use a simple shortcut here uh, to get it actually added as a bot. So you can see the create bot um, shortcut here. So all I need to do is click on that and it gives me uh, information. So I can give my, my, my bot a, a name. So I'm going to call it CMHC bot and I can very, very quickly choose what type of bots I can give. So we have two types of bots that you can create with Prompt Circle. You can either create a chat GPT bot or you can create a document bot. So in this case, I'm gonna be creating a document bot because we just uploaded a document. And all I need to do is just select document bot. And this is gonna give me an option to select the specific document I'm trying to upload. In this case is the residential mortgage industry report. As you can see here, so that was that document we just shared. It's now in the knowledge base of Prompt Circle and I can use it to create my own chatbot. So I, all I need to do is do this. You can provide some instructions saying you are a helpful assistant that answers questions about a mortgage report. So all you need to do is just simple instructions. Now I can also select the channel where I want this bot to operate. So I'm selecting the channel from here and that's all I really need to do. That's it, the bot is now available in this channel. And now when I do an at mention, of my bot and ask a similar question. Let's go pick up a different question here. Let's ask something more specific. Okay, let's say what the mortgage, residential mortgage debt is. What is the current, what was the mortgage, the residential, let's ask more resi residential mortgage, mortgage debt as of Jan 2023. So now once I ask that question, now what you're gonna notice again, it's gonna go ahead and start mining for that data, looking for it. And what you're gonna notice is that when it responds, it's also going to kind of respond with the chat chat bot, uh, the bot name that I have created when I created my bot. So this bot is really specific to this channel. It's gonna answer any questions about this channel related to the document that was associated with it. So it says, as of January 2023, 20, the residential mortgage debt stood at 2.08 trillion, which is accurate. So this is pretty awesome if you are an organization, you're trying to make life easier for your um, employees, you wanna give them access to knowledge, they can easily share it directly inside Slack without heading to any other um, website. Right inside Slack, you can create your chatbots in seconds, literally, as you saw here. I'm curious to hear what you think about this. Um, I'm beginning to take, um, 
folks who want to join um, the early signups, if you want to get access to it, if you want to play around with it, leave the comments in the description. Let me know what you think. Thank you and have a great one.